I don't know if it's a silly question, but do you have a, a cane sponsor? No, I got hooked up from... Uh, what are they called? What were they called? White canes. They're the, called white canes. That's the term, yeah. Okay. Cane, whatever. I've had people call it a walker, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, what the hell was the name of the company? I don't even know. They don't hook me up anymore. They sent me a couple. Ooh, I, I, like I looked into starting a cane company, but it's like there's a couple people who just have that on lock. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Mm. And it's like an insane amount of money to get that mold made. Wow. Just for to sell, how many canes am I going to sell? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's probably different sizes and yeah, all these different there's, types. Every person has a different size. And yeah. Stuff like that. So is that made customly for you or no? I just a cheap. I buy the cheapest ones I can on Amazon, just because mm. I break them all the time. Uh, so I'll just oh. go and wait till I find like a good deal, and I'll just like cop like five of them. Oh, really? And then throw stickers on them, and then uh, I use what's it called a marshmallow tip because it's literally shaped like a little marshmallow. Huh. Like Bishop uses a like that big looks like a snowball, yeah. called a snowball tip, and okay. it rolls. He oh, likes that rolls. in the transition. Yeah, it actually has a roll to it. Oh, okay. Um, there's a marshmallow tip that has a roll on it. Has a little bearing in there too, like mm. a straight skate size bearing. Mm -hmm. Put a little bone Swiss in there. It's nice. But those break all the time. Like you hit them one good time and they're snapped. Uh, so okay. I just stick to the basic marshmallow aluminum, 54 inches. Is the skate, inches. and then my walking cane is different. It's like a nicer graphite, super light, 60, 60 inches. Is Why the shorter one for skating? Because uh, I'm not like uh, I want to be close to the ledge or wherever it is. Um, Got you. Just just closer distance. It's not as much weight. Smaller and smaller in my hand and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because walking, I'm like actually moving kind of at like a faster pace sometimes gotcha. so you want it reaching out further because you're you know gaining that ground faster so you got to be identified sooner uh -huh. when you're going to run into something so use like a longer cane huh and the marshmallow tip is that just <clears throat> does it go over cracks easier yeah that's the best one for cracks and stuff like that because you, you don't want the thing to get stuck in the crack yeah you want it to you want to feel the crack Right? You want it to go over the crack and not you get want it, stuck. Yeah. yeah, you want a hard plastic so it will glide yeah. along the grind along the ground better so you're not mm -hmm. getting caught up. Um, and then yeah, you're not really feeling cracks when I'm skating with the cane. That's more just under your under your feet. Okay. That you're feeling that stuff. Um, but like you want it to glide good. You want it to glide. Yeah. But they get stuck in like you, like ledges sometimes will have a seam from the like the ground to the ledge. Yeah. A lot of times it gets stuck in there. Um, just yanks it out of there. Flat bars so always getting caught on the cross beams. Hmm. That drives me nuts. Um, and it's all bent up. You can see that. Is it behind you? Uh, it's that behind. It's right here. That one's all yeah. bent up. That one's lasted me a long time. Yeah. See that tip on there? Yeah, that needs a I new mean, tip. That's all the way to no, the... No, no, this is, this is no tip on here. This yeah, thing is gone, It's bro. gone. It's bent up. Yeah. yeah, this thing is... But that's supposed to be the marshmallow tip? Is yeah, that... there's a fresh one behind you. I don't know where Raj put uh, it. It's right behind you, Dan, um, underneath the Spike oh, behind Jones me? DVD. Oh, the Spike Jones one? <laughs> no. Next, next one up? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Oh, you yeah, folded yeah. it up. Or no. Is it? It's right here. Is that it? Yeah, that's like... Oh, yeah, like I mean, a, that's a let, crispy. Let's compare tips. Oh, tip. that, that, is, thing is that's, pretty, that thing's gone, yeah. bro. That's what that's. Are you kidding? That's that's what that is. That's, that's what that's what that is. Yeah. It turned in from if it was a sixty millimeter to a twenty millimeter what? wheel. Yeah, you exactly. These things in or you, you no, it has this little J hook, on, J dub hook on there. J dub, uh, a little J dub. Yeah. Hook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. J dub hook. Yeah. Maybe Spitfire uh, urethane yeah. tip coming out soon. I don't know. Dude, that would be that sick. That would be tight. So this is interesting, yeah. So this is like trial yeah. tribulation of finding something that's good for you to skate yep. with, right? Yeah. Yep. And s back in the day when I would skate a gap and I needed that length, I would skate a longer cane to give me a little bit more time. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's some different ones. To feel oh, the yeah. drop. Yeah, those are the shredded down ones. Yeah, these Small, are medium, and large. Yeah. Yeah. How long does a tip last usually? Um, <clears throat> these are the skate ones. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be a harder plastic. They sell like a cheaper one, that, but I haven't really felt the difference it'll last uh i'm trying to think when i put eh, probably like a month that a lasted month? Mm, okay and but sometimes i'll break them like i broke set one up and broke it like right off the bat when i actually when i try to do manuals or ollie up something um like i'll hit the ledge and then my nose will run into my board sometimes uh, oh this is, is there a certain oh, point snap of, right off is there a certain point that we're like oh this is so buttery the way it's feeling right now yeah you, you break them in it's like yeah. parachutes <laughs> yeah. oh. so it, it takes a couple of days like that one's got 
Yeah, that one feels nice. So this new marshmallow tip will take you a few days to break in. Oh, the tip isn't so much. It's more the cane itself. Uh, okay. why, why the cane itself? It's just rigid, like super firm when you have it. The grip feels a little weird. Huh. Okay. Um, is that used to, is that like a red, white, and blue handle on that one? This one's a black handle. Oh, it's all black. Oh, it's it's really, d- this thing is torn up, bro. Yeah, it's shredded. It gets, when I get sweaty, like I'll start slipping on it and stuff uh, like that. Okay. You can get all, all kinds, you can get like a cork handle. You can like customize like pretty much anything you want on there. You can get any color cane you want. Mm-hmm. But you got some sponsor stickers on here? Perfect, <clears throat> perf- perfect Shh, hydration. Don't say that one. Oh. Not anymore. No, yeah, perfect hydration was on there. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I think I have a Bone Swiss sponsor, on yeah. there. There are some real ones on the bottom, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah, Spitfire. Bone Swiss, I see it. That yeah, was this, thing is, this thing is torn yeah, up. Yeah, it's shredded. Dude. How much are one of these? The uh, cheapest, like yeah, yeah, cheapest yeah. I can find it is probably right around like $15, $20, but they're usually like 30 bucks a cane. 30 bucks. Okay. 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 So I don't pay for boards anymore, but I still pay for canes. Yeah, but let's get, I know, that's what I'm saying. It's crazy. I don't mind it. That's all right. But it's a lot of money though it. because you're uh, going through these things like, like yeah no I run other, though. I run yeah. through them you know I've broken like uh, at my house like a couple what uh, was, I think fall I snapped two like one try snapped it went upstairs grabbed another one snapped it next try <laughs> I was like dude come on no sometimes yeah you just have bad luck with them well because these are they're foldable right you can unscrew yeah those will they're yeah. um it's almost tension based it's so you pull them apart yeah there's a an elastic rubber, rubber band in, in the there. worst is when the the tip breaks off that j hook the j dubs hook will yeah, break off of there breaks, yeah. and then that elastic thing will shoot up into the cane and it's like the biggest pain in the oh, ass it snaps. Uh, fully snaps yeah it's the p- oh. biggest pain in the ass to push that back out the tip is connected to the rubber, to the band. rubber band. That's why they got yeah. the J Dub. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh. the connection inside there. The J Dub. I love it, it man, because I, I'm learning a lot, dude. Mm. I, I don't, no you know, yeah. I don't really know too much about it. Last contest, Bishop broke like I think like four or five of his tips, and his wife's just at the top of the bowl switching them out. Switching them out. His whole throw was cane a bunch. To like lock into something and just toss his cane down like the ten foot bowl and it just shatters. But see, now this is something that I, I think, like you said, like a couple companies <laughs> corner the market, right? Mm-hmm. There's a you know they they supply all the canes, but I feel like a person like you, knowing what the hell's wrong with the cane mm-hmm. itself, could make a better cane. Yeah, more. Uh... You know what just I mean? Tough. I mean, they like sell these, better ones. Like I thought you could, I mean, I could make one. You've probably tried a, a bunch of different ones. Yeah. Expensive ones, and expensive yeah. oh, ones. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. They make them on a carbon fiber. They make them mm. out of like anything you can pretty much imagine. And I thought about just making one. It was a titanium rod. Oh. That would never break. But then number one, it doesn't fold up. Yeah. And it's heavier. So it's like, do you really want that? You're kind of balancing the, uh, the yeah. two worlds. Because you do want them as light as possible. I mean, these are aluminum. I like them real light. These yeah. are aluminum with the hand. The handle's probably the heaviest part on this. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On this cane, for sure. And then with the big snowball tip, it you can feel that a lot. You know what I mean? It's like putting a pair of 60 inch millimeter, 60 millimeter wheels on your board. Right. So I don't like that feel. Got you. Um, Got I like you. it just light as bare. Yeah. It's just me and my board and that's it. Right. Yeah. Right. Hmm. And yeah, I switched that grip out sometimes. I had like a colorful one on there before, but hmm. that <clears throat> one day pro model cane. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was I cool. literally called like the big company. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Hey, can I just buy like, uh, the pieces of the, like a bunch of different pieces for the canes? And I told him like, yeah, I just want to like start like my own little cane company. He's like, do you realize what you're asking me right now? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to sell you stuff to start a company to compete against right, right. me? Right, yeah, yeah. right, right. Yeah, he wasn't. Should have left that. <laughs> Should have left that one out. Of the I should have. I was like, I'm an idiot. But <clears throat> there's there cane companies that have, like sponsor like athletes and stuff like that. I don't it? know. I I reached out and like really sh- like pushed the idea, but I don't. I don't haven't heard of like a, yeah like a pro model cane or anything like that. And I feel like maybe these cane companies as well have been in business for decades. They have, yeah. <clears throat> and you know, if it ain't broke, why fix it? Yeah. They yep. probably just have their business model and that's it, you know. Yeah. They're so outside of the Right. Especially skateboarding world, you know. Sure. <clears throat> sure. You know, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of runners, a lot of well-known runners mm-hmm. and 
but they're not bashing Olympians. Yeah, they're not really smashing the canes up. Right, yeah, right. I need a nice. Yeah. I need a nice bashing cane <clears throat> with a good J Dub. Some people, on. yeah, yeah J Dub Spitfire, yeah, it's sick. It's fascinating, dude. Yeah, it's, it's really, fun. it's really, really fascinating. Yeah, the cane. I really love. took a while to get used to it, but now, like you know, I literally don't can't leave the house without it, and it's just become it becomes you know an extension of sure. the body. As the it's, it's just extent. It's like they say it's like an extension of your fingers or hands because that's what you're feeling on the ground. <clears throat> yeah, and you can pick up a lot off of that. Uh, like you can feel. Even like in the snow, you can feel a difference if you're on top of grass or you're on top of cement just by like tapping it and stuff like that. Mm. So when you come into a new environment, like you came in here today, are you, do you like to just like look around and feel, Slow. feel everything? Yeah. If I was going to be hanging out here or like staying here, I would have to like map out the map whole place. Out. You know? uh, right. Mapping out a lot of cameras around here, so it's a little sketchy. Uh, Where is that like button? Right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's subscribe over to yeah. It's on your it's on my left. Right? It's no, on, my on left. your left. Hey, yeah, hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Right oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. I mean, the subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. Yeah. All right.